Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey there, Hunters! Remnant's still a game, right? A game that I actually still enjoy! Now, a while back, Ari and their mod team had released the From Hell mod for Remnant, overhauling the game to be harder, but also rebalancing items and adding in new items and such to the game. So I wanted to take a look at builds that function well in the Hell mode, since their criteria here is a bit steeper than regular Remnant, Hell mode increases enemies in both field and in boss fights, and has roaming bosses, so effectively you have to be able to deal with bosses regardless. There's also a ton of elite enemies, and while most builds can certainly handle most of the content, Hell Mode does require a lot more effort, so the build does need to carry more than before. I'm going to start this off with one of my favorite builds, I call it Super Slow Mo, a build that I used in base game Remnant 2, so I will be discussing that in both modded and unmodded versions of the games, though of course this build functions better in the modded version. So the idea of this mod is to stack Spore Bloom's Spore Shot mod, which releases its cloud that slows enemies. And then we stack this with the Frozen Mist mod, which also releases a cloud that causes frost buildup, which also slows enemies. These two slows do stack even on bosses, rendering them extremely slow, and in my case, makes me die more because I'm not used to the super slow timings of attacks. But, still love it. So I'm going to split this build into two segments, the From Hell version and the regular version. Going to start with From Hell. The reason why this build performs so well in this mod is because you need to have good crowd control. Well, need is a strong word, but it definitely helps tremendously either way. All the added enemies and elites can be a handful for most people, and getting overrun is definitely a common place in some areas like ROM and Corsus. So having these two clouds to stop enemies dead in their tracks, literally, gives you a lot of time to think, plan, and deal with enemies effectively without getting zergling rushed. Now while this setup is extremely effective in mob controlling, bossing is kinda hit and miss. The AoE is nice, especially with dealing with adds in boss fights, but the boss damage is definitely not the best. The dots are strong enough to deal with the bosses, but it is slow and obviously not as strong as direct damage builds like snipers and shotguns and stuff. So let's discuss the equipment of choice here. The From Hell version is using the Sawed Off Shotgun paired with the Spore Bloom. Icy Miss is on the Sawed Off, Melee Weapon is your choice, I prefer to either use Smolder because I just love Smolder, or the Butcher's Flail if you want to run Corrosion. The Corrosion is only 10 seconds, so you really have to be quick with it. I don't think the upkeep is really worth it, I'd rather just use, you know, Corrosive Aura if I'm going to be using Corrosion that way. Corrosion does increase the dot damage though, so I mean, you definitely can use it. I'm using Labyrinth Armor because most of our damage is going to be coming from the dots from Icy Mist and Spore Bloom, which actually deal solid damage. We could do this with more of a ranged damage focus setup if you're going to be running something like Void Armor or Bandit, but I'm going to be using Labyrinth. The amulet here is the Cryogen Blast. If you're not familiar, this is a new amulet added in the From Hell mod. This works like Vulcan's Detonator, allowing explosions to apply a new status called Hypothermia, which ticks and applies Frostbite stacks. So with this, the Spore Bloom shot and the Icy Mist shot now also apply Hypothermia. This is kind of the key to the build. And you may be asking yourself, why are you using Icy Mist to also apply Freeze? Well, honestly, Icy Mist just deals a ton of damage. Plus, it does linger and it lets us block past the slow down constant swarms of enemies. In an Icy Mist case, we're just getting more damage on our shot because we still get the ticks from Hypothermia. Plus, when they leave the cloud, Hypothermia is still ticking. Now the two rings we're we'll using are Iskal Hunter's Band and Spirit Stone. Iskal Hunter's Band got changed to have both reduced spread and increased weapon range. This allows us to use Spore Bloom and the Sawed Off effectively without scaling range damage. We can use it here in the Mod Power setup because they're far more effective at long ranges and their pellets are condensed, meaning they actually hit the head more. So using the Iskal Hunter's Band lets us run two shotguns and have actual strong ranged options without having any range scaling. And then we're also using Spirit Stone here, just because it's good for mod builds. It's more mod power and mod power generation, and there's no downsides, no conditions attached, so I like that. As for traits, just get them all. I mean, who doesn't have all their traits maxed at this point? And if you're playing on Hell difficulty, you better have all your traits. And real quick, I want to show up the setup for the standard Remnant version. And the build still functions in base game, it just requires a little bit of changing. We're going to be removing the Sawed Off and instead using the Revolver, although Twin Shot works well too. Still using Icy Mist and Spore Bloom as a secondary. Melee Weapon, doesn't particularly matter. Still going to be using Labyrinth Armor. 
But the amulet is going to be changed for mod damage, you know, bigger ticks and all that stuff on our dots. And the rings are going to be the spirit stone and either empowering loop if you want to do more, you know, range damage or burden of the follower. Now the reason why I removed the slot off is because without the Iskal Hunter's Band, it's really not that effective to run, you know, slot off because it's got so low range. And because we're not increasing any of its attributes with anything else, like it's fine, it's just not the best. And honestly, I'm not too fond of using Burden of the Follower right here, only because the extra mod power, while nice, is not really necessary. Because the clouds don't stack their dots, so we can't overlap like six clouds to get like six dots going. So we don't need a ton of mod generation. And we don't use Ring of Supremacy only because the two clouds we are firing do hurt you if you touch them. And it's really easy to take a tick of damage here and there uh, by just getting a little too close to your clouds. And so frequently, you just basically remove your ring slot, which is no bueno. And honestly, that's the only downside of the build is that friendly fire damage on the clouds. When you're scaling mod power so much, these clouds really hurt. And especially in the higher difficulties, because there's more friendly fire damage, the ticks can eat you alive in just a few seconds. So don't step in them. And one last suggestion too, in the From Hell version, we can not effectively swap the Sod Off for Hive Cannon to get Hypothermia and Corrosion together, giving us essentially more damage. And in general, it would probably be the more effective choice since Corrosion is so strong. Uh, I just really like shotguns, and I really like having Icy Mist to be able to have a second wall to wall off enemies. Um, so with that, that's the reason why I use this shotgun, but you can use Hive Cannon. Also, I'm a little tired of every build having Hive Cannon, right? Like every build is like, okay, start with Corrosion. And it's good because Corrosion is great. It's just like literally on everything. But anyway, the build does function in both versions of the game, although I do prefer it a lot more in the From Hell mod, just because I can use shotguns more effectively and it does feel like a nice hybrid between a range damage build and a mod power build. Uh, but that's basically it for this build video. Uh, thank you all for watching and good luck out there, hunters.